moving on to talk more specifically about labs, the goals of, of uh, lean in QC um, are the same as lean in manufacturing or anywhere else, i.e. improving performance via the introduction of flow and elimination of waste. But labs are not the same as manufacturing. So I thought it was worthwhile to have a quick discussion about a number of differences that, that, that you're no doubt all familiar with. Typically, labs have, have a lot more volatility in both volume and mix. You've got, you've got samples coming at you from routine from, for, for release. You've got samples from validation. You've got samples from stability. Uh, and apart from all of that, you have a mix of routine and non-routine testing. So your role is not just to test product or to test samples. It's also, there's also lots of non-test activities. And it might be difficult at first to understand how can I possibly level uh, that along with all of the non-test activities that I also have to do. Production don't have to deal with such a, a, a volatility. They, they, production have to make the product uh, and they don't have to deal as much with, with that type of volatility. Uh, like I've said already, one piece flow in the case of a, a dissolution or a HPLC run you, you just don't even even go there because it, it, it it's inherently unproductive to to, to to do that and indeed I, I guess one piece flow is not one of the aspirations or one of the things that you aim for in in lean lab at all uh, whereas it, it, it can certainly be an aspiration in production generally less operational excellence and productivity focus I think it's a, an important point that manufacturing or operations often have and usually do have a dedicated production engineers, industrial engineers, who spend, it's a whole department dedicated to looking at flowing product uh, through, uh, through the facility. Whereas labs, um, with all due respect to everyone here, uh, you're all scientists, you, what you're good at is, is, is chemistry testing, microbiological testing, whatever the expertise you have as a scientist is, and you don't have a dedicated department that is looking at samples moving through the lab. Um, so there, there isn't a natural productivity focus unless you do a project uh, and, and, and force that focus to, to look at how, what, how are we dealing with our sample flow through the lab here. Um, and the, the significant wastes, this is back to the point of often when you, if you look, start looking at the test rationalization and indeed in, in the guys here from Milan will tell you we did at the start of the project and we would at every project make a list of all the opportunities for eliminating testing and while there may often be tests that uh, seem ridiculous or that we all know that they're not adding a huge value to actually remove them uh, just requires such a lengthy uh, regulatory procedure that it, by the time you you get to the end of it, you may have finished uh, testing that product altogether. So uh, that's another reason why just looking at waste elimination is not the, the best way.